Freddie Daniel Kitchens, let me tell you something. Why the fuck did you bring Theodore Munkin in here? Or Todd Daniel Munkin in here? I mean, really, think about this. Munkin comes here. He brings his downfield concept, because that's what they did in Tampa Bay. Teams know we're doing that. That seems like that's all we want to do is go downfield, so they're, they're guarding against it. You got the best running back in the football, National Football League right now, and you won't use him. You won't fucking use him, even when he's running good. The problem with you, um, Freddie Kitchens, is um, you think you're a genius. You think you're better than anybody else. Bottom line is this. I didn't believe at the time that we needed him. Um, last year, if you look at Baker Mayfield, he was a leader. Threw the ball to whoever. And he was he was crisp. But this ain't a uh, this ain't a a situation where a second year player struggling. This is a situation where you got a guy like Beckham, who the Giants knew they were drafting. They already had in their mind they were drafting Daniel Jones. Now they didn't want Beckham anywhere around Daniel Jones, so they got rid of him. They seen it. They knew that Daniel Jones would be heavily influenced on Beckham to throw him the ball, and it would ruin him, much like it's ruining. Uh, beggar. The 49ers game, when I seen Beckham on the sidelines um, talking to the team, you could tell Mayfield wasn't happy about it. That's Mayfield's job. Mayfield needs to take control of this fucking team. Tell Beckham, you get open, I'll throw you the ball. You better catch it. If not, don't throw to him. That's what Mayfield needs to do. Like I say, I'm not concerned about Mayfield one bit. Trust me. Everyone's like, ah, he's no good. Trust me. He'll be fine. But I believe the trade of uh, Odell Beckham... Uh, Kind of fucked the team up a little bit. They didn't need him. Mayfield's the type of quarterback he makes anyone better. And then the reason they're playing, um, Callaway, everyone's like, I don't know why uh, Higgins ain't playing. It's very simple. John Dorsey drafted Higgins. Or no, he drafted Callaway. Higgins isn't one of his guys. He wants to put his guy out there. And it's hurting the team. The guy has served a four-game suspension. He's a good receiver, but he's not performing like he did last year. He needs to get eased in the mix. Higgins should be playing. I... You can't trade Beckham now because you're gonna you're gonna take a beating in a trade. Uh, Demarius Randall sucks. Randall is fucking horrible. So we found that out. So thank God. I wish we would have had Jabril Pepper still. Darius Randall is fucking horrible. Uh, Kevin Zeitler. <gasps> Kevin Zeitler. We miss him. I'll tell you that right now. Can you get caught? Uh, uh, football. When you're a quarterback, you get pressure up the middle. No quarterback likes it. Tom Brady don't like it. No one likes it. And that's where it's coming right now. Freddie Kitchens. You know, I, I hate all these people. Say, I told you Freddie Kitchens wasn't a good coach. I told you. I knew it when we hired him. I had to be optimism. I didn't want to come out there. I had to be optimistic. I didn't want to come out there. Ah, he's horrible. I knew when we hired him. You know what I knew? He's walking around a goddamn... um. He's walking around the facility like he was a fucking Super Bowl winning coach. It was amazing. I was like, what the fuck? He's like Mayfield. He has the same person as me. I was like, God, I knew it all along. I knew it all along. Now, I'm not saying Freddie Kitchens will never be a good coach. I think he can be. But he needs to stop trying to reinvent football. Good teams. Run the ball. Play defense. Control the clock. He had a classic chance the other day. A minute left before halftime. About a minute and 50. First and goal or second and goal. He wanted to eat. The, you got to eat the clock up. Score, touchdown or a field goal. Don't leave no time. Going with the 23-12 lead or 27-12, whatever. But the dumbass started throwing, had Mayfield throw. And it was, I'm looking at the play clock. I'm like, it's 20 seconds. Why are you snapping the ball? Because Freddie Kitchens, you know what his theory was? I wanted to score there. We had three timeouts, stop and score again. Motherfucker, you can't even score in the red zone as it is. You fucked up time management. You fucked it up. You fucked up time management. That's what you did. And uh, that's why you shouldn't be calling plays. Because you can't do it all. I think Freddie Kitchens can be a good head coach. His biggest enemy right now is himself. He needs to get out of his own fucking way. Now, this team is not a 2-14. and No fucking way. They dug themselves a big hole because of coaching and the way Mayfield's playing. I thought Mayfield actually had a real good game. Um, He had three interceptions, but let me tell you something. When you're in the National Football League, if you get a hand on the ball, you got to catch it. I'm sorry. Yeah, they were behind. A couple of them were behind them. You got to catch it. I'm sorry. Uh, seven of Mayfield's 11 interceptions have come from tip balls. It's, it's bullshit. Like they're on a Callaway at the goal line against San Francisco. That's on Mayfield, right? 
It's not Mayfield's fault. It's Callaway. So, the bottom line is, Freddie Kitchens needs up. We're two and four. We go eight and two the rest of the way. We're ten and six in the playoffs, but we go ten. We go twelve and over the rest of the way. We're twelve and four. You don't want to play your best ball at the beginning of the season. You want to play at the end of the season. This is just setting up for the Browns to have a dominant second half run. We got to go out there and dominate like we can. The Odell Beckham trade is the thing that hurt this team. I'm telling you right now, we should never try. I, I didn't even want him, but we got him. I'm like, I'm not going to say, ah, fuck him. I'm like, whatever. I didn't want him. I didn't. We didn't need him. We did not need him. Um, Freddie Kitchens got this. I, I really, hey, I'm telling you right now, you're gonna laugh. I think Cleveland's going into Foxborough. And I think they're going to fucking blow out New England. I just have a feeling. I just have a weird feeling because Cleveland is actually a good team. They're one of the top five teams in the NFL. They're not playing like it right now because of Freddie Kitchens. But Baker Mayfield, trust me, they got to get back to what they did last year. Everyone's like, oh, it's Greg Williams. It's Greg Williams. No, it wasn't great. It was all Freddie Kitchens and um, Baker Mayfield's offense that did it. I'll give Greg Williams credit. He did have that team. Um, I'll tell you what. Greg Williams did a good job disciplining the team. But it was basically because if he didn't have Baker Mayfield in the kitchens, they wouldn't have been no good. But I'll tell you what, he coached better than Freddie Kitchens right now. I'm not saying Freddie Kitchens ain't going to be a good coach. I remember Belichick in the Cleveland wasn't that good either. Then he got better, and then Modell fired him when he uh, moved to uh, Baltimore like a dumbass and hired Theodore Marchabrota. The Browns, everyone's like, ah, you're going to be so mad. Uh, season ain't over, trust me. This is a long way to go. Now, I will say this. I don't like smoking weed during the game. I'll tell you what, the first half. See, when you watch football, I love being on edge. I love the feel of being up and down. I don't know why. It's just, it's exhilarating. When you when you get high, see, at the first half, I was living. We had that 20 to 6 lead and we blew it. I was fucking angry. I had videos I didn't want to upload because I was wishing things on people. I was so pissed. And I smoked, uh, that halftime, I smoked some weed. And I just got so, I, I didn't even enjoy the game then. It was like, ah, we lost. I didn't even care. I don't like, it's not fun. To, and I will say this. When you do that, it takes away all the, you know what I'm saying? I just don't like it. It's not enjoyable to watch football when you're high. It ain't. Because the whole rush of being up, down, the emotional roller coaster, I love that feeling. I know it sounds crazy, but I love that feeling. So I'm never smoking weed again during a Browns game. First half, I was livid. But I will say this, it does calm me the fuck down. I, and I need something like that because I'm fucking hyper and fucking psycho. Weed is actually good for certain people like me. Weed does great for me. I'll give you a classic example. Yesterday, I smoked some uh, weed, right? TV dinner. I took off the uh, top of the TV dinner. Usually it's in like 38 fucking different pieces. When I'm smoking weed, I'm not in a hurry. I'm just, my whole processing clock is slowed down. And I took it off in one piece. I think I made a video about it. I might have to upload it, but yeah, I'm not worried about the Browns. People don't get it. I'm not worried one bit. Mayfield's not, listen, he hasn't played good this year, but I'm not worried about him. That throw Mayfield made to uh, Jarvis Landry on fourth down, like 30 yard fucking bullet right down the middle. There's only about five players in the league that can do that. But Mayfield, I was like, what is he doing? Got it there, right? Sam Darnold ain't one. Lamar Jackson ain't one. Aaron Rodgers is one. There's only about five players that can make that throw. That was a dime. So, yeah, I'm not concerned about Mayfield. I do think having Jar or, um, Odell Beckham Jr. kind of ruined Mayfield. Because, you know, you got a guy, I oh, get me the ball. And Mayfield last year was just spreading the ball around. He didn't give a fuck who you were. He threw to you. You got open. Now Mayfield's like, it just ruined him. Now he's staring people down. But I'm not concerned about him. Trust me. We're going to get this back on track. But, um, yeah. Yeah, I'm not smoking weed no more during a football game. First half, I enjoyed the game. Second half, I'm just, I'm like, just relax. It's just not as fun. It's not as fun. I like the emotional roller coaster that goes through an NFL game. I'll tell you what, Monday morning, I wasn't wore out at all. Usually, Monday morning, I'm fucking wore out from watching football. Football wears me the fuck out. I will say this, weed is actually, and you know, I never liked weed before, but weed has its benefits. For someone like me, I believe I can get medicinal uh, purposes for it because it does. It, I'll tell you the truth. I gained like 22 pounds since I started smoking weed on a regular basis. And uh, I got no problem with that. I went on a diet for the summertime, now I'm back. But yeah, I'm not concerned about the Browns, and neither should you, trust me. The Browns are all right. We're in good shape.